Welcome back. We're on lesson 18, 3.2 logarithmic functions and their grasp of precalculus with the textbook using Larson. So the definition of a logarithmic function over here, I know you can barely read it. It's a sad story. I'll read it to you. It says for a greater than zero and a not equal to one, y is equal to the log of a x, if and only if. x equals a to the y. So that's that's the way you write it. So if you have an exponent that you could write x equals a to the y, y you could rewrite it as a log, y equals log a to the x. It's the inverse of the exponential function. So looking at the next page here, um, it says that on the next page, the parent function, we're gonna do a parent function for logs, of f of x equals the log base a of x. Again, it's for a greater than or equal to zero and a not equal to one is the inverse function of the exponential function. It's the inverse of it. So we're gonna take a look. I'm gonna to skip to the back of this packet and then come back to that one. On the back, it'll help you out here a lot. We're gonna graph it. So on the back page here, it says graphs of exponential and logarithmic functions. Sketch the graph of f and use that graph of f to sketch the, the graph of g. So we were just doing that um, on the last lesson, graphing exponential functions. So if we want to graph y equals 5 to the x, again, just plug in some numbers for it. Plug numbers in around 0. So negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So 5 to the negative 1. Remember, it's a negative, you, float the, you flip it over, so it really makes it one-fifth to the first. And then we have five to the zero, and it's always one, anything to the zero is one. And then five to the first is five, and five to the second, five times five, 25. So at negative one, it's a fifth. At zero, it's one. At one, it's five. And then at two, it's way up there somewhere at 25. So we've got the horizontal asymptote going still of y equals zero. So let's write down the domain and the range of the exponent here. So the domain of it's infinite. It's going forever left and right. The range, however, is not going forever up and down. It starts with zero and it goes up, but it never crosses zero. So we're gonna use a parenthesis, um, zero to infinity. So we were looking at the other page and the other page we we're talking about the logarithm is the inverse of the exponent function. So recall from the inverse, what changes was we flipped the X and the Y, wherever there's a Y, we put an X, we put an X where the Y was and we solve for Y and I told you we switched the X and the Y. So that's what we're gonna do here for the logarithm. So instead of negative one, one fifth, you flip them. So it's one fifth negative one, instead of zero, one, it becomes one, zero, five, one, and then 25, two. So I switched to my X and my Y's. So I'm using my graph of F here to graph the log base five of X. So at one fifth, it's negative one. And then at one, zero, five is one. And then 25, somewhere way on here, it's up to the number two. So we had y equals zero. So instead of y equals zero, we flipped it. So now for a logarithm, it's got the asymptote x equals zero. So they're inverses of each other. So notice they're flipping across that line, y equals x, that's what an inverse does. It flips over the line y equals x. And let's look at, Let's look at the log in particular on the calculator. Maybe we'll start with the exponent because um, you'll see something interesting here. So y equals, we'll do the first one, five to the x. So let's see, five caret x. So notice you don't really see the line going down there because it disappears because it gets closer and closer to the x-axis. So it almost becomes the x-axis, but it keeps going. It's there. 
So you have to draw it still. The graph is still there. So likewise with a log, if you were to just graph the log function here, it's log base 5 of x, so y equals. You can actually, it doesn't have the base 10, so it's not just the word log. So to get to this one, you got to use the word math. And you're going to go all the way down to log base. And so log base 5 of x, graph it. So it's going down infinitely um, to negative infinity, but you can't see that it's going down because, again, the graph gets so close to the y-axis, it becomes the y-axis. But when you draw the graph for me, I need you to draw it and put an arrow on it to show that it keeps going down. So let's talk about the domain and range now of the log. So the domain is not infinite. It's not going forever left and right. It's, again, go from the left to the right. It goes again smallest to largest it's from zero to infinity and it never becomes zero so I I'm using a parenthesis for that and not a bracket and then this time now the range is infinite it's going forever from negative infinity and it's going up I know it's going slowly but it is going up forever it, it will eventually get to um, another number higher and higher and higher it just doesn't go fast and there's no speed to infinity infinite is infinite there's no different kinds of infinity it's just infinite so that's all it is um, notice my point to doing that is notice the domain and the range flip because that's what happened because of the x and y's flip so the domain was infinite on an exponent now the range becomes infinite on the inverse the log and the range becomes the new domain so the range was zero to infinity for an exponent. So now that becomes the domain for the log, zero to infinity, they flipped. Kind of fun. All right, so going back to our paper here, uh, we'll go back to page one. So on page one, this is just something you have to memorize and we're gonna work on it down here that the definition of a log is from the inverse of an exponent. So if you had x equals a to the y, it becomes y equals log base a to the x. So on the first one here, they'd like us to rewrite the logarithmic ex equation in exponential form. So it's got a base, you can barely see it, I know. It's got a base four, and it's the log of 64, four. log base four of 64 equals three. Well, that becomes four to the third equals 64. It does. 4 to the 3rd equals 64. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64, so that works. Next one, log base 3 of 81 equals 4. So as an exponent, that's 3 to the 4th equals 81. So on the next one, base log base 7 of 1 divided by 49 equals negative 2. So that's 7 to the negative 2 equals 1 over 49. On the next one, they would like us to rewrite the exponential equation. Write the exponential equation in logarithmic form. So change the exponents to a log. So it is five to the third equals 125. So that would be log base five of 125. I always just write five to the third equals 125 is the way I remember it. So this one's eight to the, this one's to the two. So if you log eight, then I put the two over there, 64. It's just a rhythm I have to doing it. I don't think anyone's ever given me a good way to remember it at all, but you just gotta remember the trick on it. So it's 81 to the one fourth, so base 81. So that would equal one fourth of the number three. So 81 to the one fourth equals three. So this talks about the parent function of a log. So let's see here. So this is the log base a of x. All logs look like this, just like yesterday. All exponents look like um, it flipped over the line over here. They look like this, all exponents. So all logs are the inverse of that. So uh, the domain for a log is zero to infinity. It's starting here at zero, it never becomes zero, so it's a parenthesis, zero to infinity. 
The range is infinite. It has one x-intercept at one zero. It doesn't have any y-intercepts. It's increasing. Again, take your car and take it on a drive here from the left to the right, and it's going up. So it's got positive slope. So it's increasing from zero to infinity. The y-axis, the vertical asymptote, or you could say x equals zero. Um, and it is continuous because there's no gaps or holes on it. And it's a reflection over, again, the line y equals x of the original exponential function. All right, they'd like us to evaluate some logs. Again, the word evaluate means find a number. Find the answer or find a number. So they want us to find a number for these. Use the definition of logarithm to evaluate the function at the indicated value of x. Oh, they want us to do it without a calculator. Isn't that fun? All right, so I know you can't read it. I'm so sorry. But it says log base um, 2 of x. And x is 16. So log base 2 when in x is 16 and that equals f of x or y. So rewrite it. What you want to do is rewrite it as an exponent. So that would make that 2 to the y equals 16. So when you evaluate exponents, you want to get into the same base. So to the same base, go with the smaller number. The smaller number here is 2. So I want them both to be a 2. So 2 to the what is um, equal to 16. And that's 2 to the fourth. And there's no good way to, to do it. There's something we can do with logs to, to figure it out, but we're not going to do that today. But what you can do is, to, if you didn't know that, you could put in your calculator um, 2 to the 2nd is 4, 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th, and you get to 16. When you have the same base, the answer is what the exponents are equal to. When you have the same base, you can set the exponents equal. So y is equal to 4. Or I agree, you could have eyeballed it at this point and just realized it's a 4. I know you could have done that. All right, so the next one says log base 16 of x equals f of x. This time, x is 1 fourth, so log base 16 of 1 fourth equals y. So that gives us 16 to the y equals 1 fourth. Here is where it's a little bit better to be able to realize to get the same base. You could use for the same base the number 4 or you could use the number two. Either one's gonna give you the same answer. I think I'm gonna go for the number two for fun. So if you wanted to rewrite 16 as number two, that'd be two to the fourth. So it'd be two to the four y. And this is two squared, but I wanna float it up. So that makes it two to the negative two. One fourth is two to the negative two. So again, I got the same base. When you got the same base, set the exponents equal. So four y equals negative two, divide, and so then y equals negative 2 divided by 4, or negative 1 half. And on the last one here, we have log base 10 of x equals g of x. So y equals log base 10 of x. And they said x is 1 over 1,000. So 1 over 1,000 equals log base 10 of x. So, all right. I'm going to rewrite it as an exponent. So that would make it, um, oh, I put an x in the wrong place. That was silly of me. So we have y equals, and then x, oh, I stink. All right, so y equals log base 10 of x, and they said x is 1 over 1,000. There we go. So rewriting it as an exponent, that'd be 10 to the y equals 1 over 1,000. And the same base here, it's probably jumping right back out at you, would be the number 10. So that would make it um, 10 to the y equals 10 to the negative 3. Because 10 to the third is 1,000, because you have three zeros. So 10 to the third. And then again, we got the same base. So just set the exponents equal. And we get negative 3. Oh, we have some log properties that you're going to want to know. The first one says if you have a log to some base of the number 1, it's always equal to 0. And that's because a to the 0 
is equal to 1. So if you ever see this, the answer is 0, it, whenever the base is 1. All right, on the next one, it's a log base a of a is equal to 1. So if you have the base a of a, it is 1, because a to the first is a. 1a equals a. Okay, and then another one called the inverse property. If you have log base a of a to the x, it equals just x. So if you get this mess going here, raised to an x or raised to something, whatever it's raised to, just write it. On the last one here, if you have the same base, so log base a of x equals log base a of y, so both of these are to the same number or the letter a, then you can just set what you're taking the log of equal to each other. So it's just x would equal y. All right, so we're gonna use some of those log properties now. So it says, use the calculator to evaluate the function at the indicated value of x. Oh, we're not gonna use the properties yet. Round your answer to three decimal places. So they would like us on the first one here to do log base 10 of x when x is 345. So log base 10 of 345. All right, so I needed to have written this before. Let's go back up the top. We'll make a note here. If they don't ever say what the log is to the base to, so like y equals the log base 3x, they don't log, y equals the log of 3x, but they don't say what the base is. If there is no base there, if the base is missing, it is 10. The base is always 10. Um, sometimes though they put a number there, but so I don't know why they bothered to put a 10 on this one. If it is to the log base e of x, they don't write that. They, they make it special. Instead of saying log base e, they write natural log of x. It follows all the same rules because it's, it's still a log. It's just a, a log to the base of the letter e. So it's all the same. All right, so we want the log base 10 to 345. So that's just the log of 345 because that's to the base 10. So you get 2.538. I'm going to round the 7 up to an 8 because the number after it was 5 or more. Okay, next one is log base 10 of x, and x is 4 fifths. So again, I'm not going to bother doing that, that log base thing under the math key. It's just log, so the log of 4 fifths. And you get negative 0 0.096, and it's a 9, so I should round that to a 7. Okay, and then on the next one, it is six times the log base 10 of 14.8. So six times the log of 14.8. So it's six and then log of 14.8. And again, I don't need to put the 10 in because it's just assumed to be to the 10th for the base. So that'd be 7.022 because the one needs to round up to a two because of the five being there. All right, on the next one, now we're kind of using the properties of logs. This says the log base 7 of x equals the log base 7 of 9. The property up above said if they have the same base, you can just set that equal. So it would just be x equals 9. The next one's the same question. It says log base 5 of 5 is equal to log base 5 of x. Again, since they have the same base of 5, you can just set those equal, so x equals 5. On the next one, it's log base 4, uh, 4 to the second equals x. All right, so from up above this whole junk here, it said if you have the same base you're taking of the log, so log, log base 4 of 4, if those are the same, what the rule said, you could just set those equal. So x is equal to 2. Same thing on the next one, I think. We got the log base um, 3 of 3 to the negative 5 equals x. That's what it says. Again, you've got this mess there, the same thing twice. So x equals negative 5. 
All right, and then on the next one, it says use the property as a logarithm is to simplify it. So it's the same thing again. This one says the log base four. And it gets to the three X. We're gonna learn a rule tomorrow. When it's a power, you can pull it in front. But, but right now it says the log of four base four to the three X. Again, that's just three X. And the next one, six log six of 36 X. So you got the six there. So it's just 36 X. All right, I will see you for the next lesson.